what's up i'm kenzie and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here i make a lot of lifestyle videos so tons of vlogs a lot of routines productive videos health videos fitness like cleaning organization all of that so be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already but today's video is going to be a home organization tour i worked with a professional organizer on everything i'm sharing with you guys today besides the fridge and the pantry her name is Danielle, she's the Swedish, she's at the sort of place. Go follow her, and also if you live in Dallas, go hire her. I still have my master closet, and I think I wanna do an entire master closet clean out organization video. So if this video gets 300 comments, I will. And then we are in the process of building out my office closet, and that should be done next week. So let me know if you guys wanna see that as well. All right, that is it for today's video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram, and let's get started. Starting off in the kitchen, this is where I keep everything for coffee. I have some vitamins, I have tea, collagen. Mainly it's a drink cabinet. So we have this riser here that's from Amazon. I will have everything linked below. I still have a lot of my Christmas mugs out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, so we'll see. This is the collagen that I like. I put this in my coffee and it is incredible. I've talked about this so many times, but if I ever break out and then I put this in my coffee the next day, it's all gone. I have a little handheld frother, some pods, some K-cups, then I have this liquid stevia that I got from Trader Joe's. Up here, I have some vitamins, which those won't all be there forever. I just haven't organized them yet. I have a lot of Dose & Co. Pure Collagen. You guys will notice that I have a lot of collagen. It's because they're sent in PR packages a lot. Also, Dolly Koozies. I cannot remember who sent them to me. If you sent them to me, please let me know and I will link you below. Then I have this little tea organizer up here. More collagen teas, coffee, pre-workout. Above my microwave, I have this Lazy Susan that's actually a really big Lazy Susan, completely full of liquid IV. If you guys know me, you know how much I love liquid IV. I just had some. So good. If you're trying to stop drinking coffee, get the energy one. If you guys want to try it, I have a 25% off code that I'll have linked below. This is just where I keep extra paper towels, and then I also have a cooler from Liquid IV actually as well. Moving over here, this is where I keep all of my plates, bowls, and drinks. Up there, I just have some olive oil and a little baking. They, honestly, I don't really know why I have that up here. I just, I just do. Here, I have some stuff for drinks that's super cute. A little cocktail shaker. I have these really cool square wine glasses that I've wanted for so long. Um, I got mine on Amazon. I know they became popular, I think, from CB2, though. These are from West Elm. Some more pink wine glasses from West Elm. I think those are Ikea. Stella sent those to me. I drink everything out of wine glasses, like kombucha, all of my fun drinks, mocktails I've been making. So just love having that. These risers have truly made the biggest difference as far as organization goes. So I have another acrylic riser. Then I have some plates, bowls, more of my everyday go-to cups. These are actually from All Place. They sent them to me when they sent me my Always Pan, and I love them. Then I also have these big plate bowls that I use for pretty much everything. So I'll also link those below. All right. Now this is my absolute favorite, guys. Like, look at this. Wow. Can you believe that? On this shelf, I have things that I reach for the most. I have my toaster. I actually don't reach for that that much, but it's still there. I have my Ninja Blender, and then I put the accessories and stuff that I'm currently using there. Then on this one, I just have everything for my juicer. It could definitely stand up better, but I just have dedicated this entire shelf to my juicer. Moving on over here, same thing, but these are just my pots and pans. So this is the best pot ever. It replaces like 16 things. To be honest with you, I don't even really use my other stuff. I just use this for legit everything. This is my always pan from our place. They got really popular this year, but I love this thing and I use it all the time. And then down here, I have some more cutting boards on the side. Cutting boards, more pots, pans, that sort of thing. Under here, I keep my baking sheets, a lot of just random baking stuff. I have a little cheese board. Comment below if you also store things in here, because I know that this is not meant for storage, but it is what it is. Under here, so it may not look organized to you, it is this cabinet. Could have been so useful, but the way that it's built and all the pipes and stuff, nothing will fit in here. There's just so many cords, so I just have everything that I need cleaning supplies out here. Keep it kind of spaced out so I can see some extra stuff in the back. And that is that. 
Moving on in here, Coco is here, to my pantry. So this is actually just a closet under my stairs that I made into a pantry. I have so much chicken stock, I know. It's a long story and I have and a lot of noodles. It's a very long story. I cook all the time. All of this stuff is from Ikea, by the way. So up here, noodles, noodles, rice. That is alcohol, apple cider, apple cider vinegar, peanuts, and this apples and cranberry. So this stuff was for a cheese board. That's why I have it here. And then my bread, which I just keep right here because I am constantly in and out of the pantry for it. I didn't realize until literally yesterday that I need to order some things to put like sugar, flour, brown sugar. So that's all right here, down here. This bin is for baking. So I've got a lot of baking stuff, some birthday stuff, more baking stuff. I have my ready rice here just because it looks neater here than it did in the basket. And then I just have like chia seeds, nutritional yeast, things like that right here. Over here, I have, again, so much collagen. I have a lot of collagen, protein powder. If you guys have used the Tone It Up stuff, let me know what you love because I haven't gotten a chance to try it out yet and I would love to. Down here, I have my snack bin. So just a bunch of snacks down here, self-explanatory. Here, I have my little mocktail stash. So. I started making mocktails and I just have a bunch of random drinks here. This buzz water is actually alcohol, but um, I have not had it. It's just been sitting there for the longest time. It's also in my fridge, but I just have a bunch of stuff that I use for all my mocktails just right here. Oats, a lot of broth. Um, this is where I keep tomato paste, tomato sauce, and then I even have like a marinara sauce here. Here is where I keep beans. This is tomato sauce. That's supposed to be over here. I have some peanut butter right here. Down here, I have a lot of sauces and miscellaneous things that don't really matter. Coco is just trying to get my attention. And then I have some more noodles and mac and cheese down here. This is what I keep the dog's food in. It's so convenient. And I came with this little scoop that's a cup, so it's really helpful. I will link it below, but this is just where I keep their food. And she smells it, so we're gonna shut that. All right, so going into my fridge organization, I'm very passionate about it. It works for me. I know it's not the best out of anyone's, but it works for me, okay? The thing that's unfortunate about fridge organization is the fact that, like, these olives should go there and they just don't fit. So, like, what are you gonna do, you know? This is just a lot of alcoholic drinks that I've gotten from PR. Honestly, it's been sitting here for months. I know I could probably find a better use for this bin, but I just keep holding on to the fact of, like, when COVID is over or something, there will be people here that want alcohol, and, you know, here you go, here they go. These are my favorite drinks literally ever, my recess drinks. I love them so much that I actually bought this specifically for them. So I've been making some mocktails with these too, but I just drink them regularly. They're really great hemp drinks if you guys struggle with anxiety or you ever get stressed out or just want something to calm down. Um, these are really relaxing and I love them. You guys can use code Kenzie for 15% off. These are like protein drinks that I haven't had yet. I have a cold brew in here, apple cider, Brita. I just got these in the mail because for some reason I have become a drink influencer. I haven't been able to try them yet, but they're culture pop sodas, so I'll keep you guys posted. I have this wine that Dear Media sent for Christmas. This is where I keep my eggs. There's not really many in there right now, but isn't that so nice? In here, I just have some juices and coconut water for smoothies. This stuff, miscellaneous, just random things. Like kind of olives, sauces, things like that. Over here, I have these chocolates that a company sent me for, they're like period chocolates, which are supposed to be like really good for you. Over here, I have dips, so like the buffalo chicken dip from Trader Joe's, which is really good. The tomato and basil hummus dip, things like that, I love. I have a random Red Bull. I don't know how this got to my house because I don't drink Red Bull, but it's here. Some more Health Aid. I normally have a lot of Health Aid and a lot of Booch Pop in my fridge, but I don't currently and I need to pick some up. Then over here, I just have some food that I am using to prep, so I use all of these together for a lunch that I make all the time and then I'm about to make a soup with this tortellini So it's just sitting there in this drawer. I have pre-made Trader Joe's things here. I have meat I just got this today. This is so standard for like my two favorite recipes here I just have a lot of cheese. I don't know why I have so much cheese So if I did my grocery shopping on my own, I would have everything unpackaged But I had to instacart today. So I have some cilantro broccoli Celery, carrots, oranges, and lemons. Up here, I just have some John and Vinny's chocolate, again, that Media sent me. Olives, some creamers, baking soda. I have this Primal Kitchen mayo that I'm gonna use in my bowl and see if I like it. Then I just have some drinks. So I have lemon, lime juice, an orange, like a mango drink, orange juice. This is my favorite milk alternative. It's the best one. 
and then some heavy whipping cream, which I pretty much always have for cooking. Not the healthiest, but it's fine. More coconut water. Again, more sauces, which basically it's just barbecue sauce and hot sauce. Fun fact, just got this one because the last one dropped on my kitchen floor and smelled horrible for like hours. Butter, and that is it. So that's it for my fridge organization. This is the laundry room. That's what I call it. I know it's not a room. I guess laundry closet, whatever. This is where my washer and dryer are. Ignored. I'm in the middle of cleaning the dog's toys. But I recently got this organized and this has really, really changed my life. I have a few coats down here. I have a lot of coats upstairs too. There's really not much rhyme or reason. I just have a lot of outerwear so it just is what it is. To the right, I have a suitcase. This is an extra gym mat. I have this back here, which is a projector stand. And then I have extra paint and stuff for the house. Back here, I actually have some more storage. I have extras of sponges and just stuff that I bought from Costco when I first moved in. Um, and then I have more dog potty pads here. I don't use them for my dogs. I just keep them because I want to be the best host ever in case someone brings a puppy here and we need potty pads. I just got these from Amazon and they've been awesome. So down here, I have a bunch of extension cords. Not really exciting to open. Here, I have paint stuff. So stuff to cover the floors, um, tape, just things like that. And here, I have my toolbox. And then up here, I have my actual projector which I keep because I'm gonna start using it on the rooftop when the weather gets better. Right here, I have an extra sheet set. I feel like such an adult. I have three of them, can you believe that? Um, and then I just have some more laundry stuff, so I have extra pods for here, and then I have some dryer balls. Now this really ages me, guys. Look, stuff from my garden that I don't have, but my plants upstairs that are actually dead. So you know, it's fine. We're fine, we're fine. I love this right here. It's where I keep all my pods. Back here, I have another hose. I have this travel carrier that I use for cocoa. To the side, I have a few more extension cords and then where I keep my projector. Up here, I just have some extra boxes, a little pump, and then I have like a George Foreman grill, things like that, and a space heater. So that is it for my little laundry room tour, but it has really been a game changer having it be organized. I cannot stress that to you guys enough. My bathroom has a major upgrade now. These used to be so unbelievably unorganized and now I have just what I need. And honestly, this has just changed the game for me. In this bin, which is from the container store, I just have some sprays, hair accessories, brushes, a tangle brush. Then I have some hairsprays just right here. Back here, I have all of my hair tools besides my air wrap and then I also have a Dyson hair dryer. Right here, I have a container for sheet masks which I have more of my PR stuff, so I should bring them in here. I just have two palettes back here, and then this is where I keep my self-tanner. Oh, you know what? Let me grab one. This is actually my favorite self-tanner, so back here. Then I just have a body mist, but I love this. To the left, I have this little Laura Mercier bag. I keep it right here because it's where I throw my skincare in. So that is that. It has made my life so much easier. And then in this cabinet, I have basically just a lot of extras. So first off, I have cleaning supplies. I normally have paper towels right here, but I ran out and I haven't brought new ones up yet. I have cleaning supplies all around. And this box seems like it's all over the place. It's really not because these are just extras that I have of things. So I have Tide pens. I have extras of native deodorant. I have extras of my shaving cream, Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner, which I love by the way. More beauty blenders more natural deodorants, toothpaste, um, just things like that. These are my razor heads. I have extra trash. This is where I have a box of like Lola tampons. I have Q-tips here, and then these are little brew pockets for baths, which I've actually never done, and they've been sitting here forever, so I should try it out. But yeah, that's my bathroom. It's not too crazy, but I really like it um, because it's so low. I'm just such a visual person, so that's why these help me so much because I feel like I can actually see everything and I never have it to like where it's all the way back there and I have no idea what it is. All right, guys, again, if this gets to 300 comments, I'm doing a closet organization clean out video. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. I love you guys so much. Happy New Year, and I will talk to you soon.